Hey movie fans, excited to tell you about Obi-Wan Kenobi, Disney Plus series that just wrapped up its finale just a couple of weeks ago. Hope everyone's had a chance to see it, but even if you haven't, I will try to keep this mostly spoiler free. <laughs> there might be a couple little things here or there, but really I'll, I'll keep the spoilers down to a pretty much a minimum. But a uh, very, very fun series. I thought it was really cool. Um, I really liked it. I'd say that just right off the bat. I really liked it, really enjoyed it. At the same time, it wasn't really anything too like out of this world or blow your mind amazing, which I'm, I'm kind of happy about. They didn't feel like they had to do that or tried to force something like that in there. But I think it did give us a really meaningful Star Wars story to add to the overall Star Wars experience. Uh, one that, like I said, was meaningful. It mattered and it had its place and it stayed true to the storyline telling of the Skywalker saga. So that was really cool. Really great. Um, that being said, um, what am I getting from that? Well, to me, there were really two major things that, that give this series a why. Like, why did we need this series? Why did we have this series? Not just because... Well, it'd be so cool. It'd be so fun to see Obi-Wan be Obi-Wan again and be played by Ewan McGregor. When the time comes, he must be trained. Like you trained his father. Which he was. And he was fantastic. Uh, or, you know, any of those kind of things. But, but I think it really just does help because what this series gave us was like the definitive answer, you could even say, to why Obi-Wan tells Luke that Darth Vader killed Anakin Skywalker. Um, that is, is a part of this series. <laughs> if you've seen it, you know what I'm talking about. If you haven't, well, then now you'll have a little more motivation to go see it, to figure that out. Uh, the other really big one to me, and this is the one I noticed from, from early on, which made it really cool, is that it answers the how to one of the greatest, one of the most famous movie lines in history right little little hologram princess leia i guess not little but princess leia is a hologram help me obi-wan kenobi you're my only hope right like that is just so classic and so like ingrained in our culture <laughs> it's just one of those timeless movie quotes and this series gives us how 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 did Leia know to reach out to Obi-Wan Kenobi? How did she know that he was the only hope? And this series gives us that. We get that answer. Uh, it's so fun getting to see a 10-year-old Princess Leia. Uh, the actress that played her did such a great job. Super, super cute. Uh, to see a little Luke. So fun. Uh, and then just to have, yeah, great Star Wars action and excitement. Obi-Wan was is kind of in a place where he's felt like they lost, which, you know, can't blame him for that. And uh, it's kind of like pushed some things aside. And so there's even some growth and uh, regaining of strength that we see in that character, uh, the title character of, of Obi-Wan Kenobi. So that's really fun to experience as well. Uh, overall, I think it's an awesome series. I, I, I think it was just really cool to have, like, just like a just kind of like a gift, you know, to Star Wars fans. Um, like, yes. Um, but, you know, all in all, I don't know. Were there things I wish could have been a little bit different? Maybe, maybe. There, there's one kind of at the end of the series. And I don't want to say too much about what it was, but where uh, a person had a chance to kind of make a choice. And as Obi-Wan is, is talking with, they refer to her as like the third sister. Um I, I wished he would have, like, given a, an invitation, you know? I don't know what she's going to choose to do, but he could at least said, like, hey, come. Like, we'll train together, and you can help be a part of, of good and on the right side. And I think that would have been kind of cool. Um, I loved that in the Harry Potter book series where Harry's dueling Voldemort and is, like, beating him at the end. And I think he even calls him Tom, which is so cool. He's like, Tom. Join the good side. <laughs> of course, Voldemort doesn't. But, you know, I just think that's cool. Like the source of good to at least try to bring over 
uh, those who are who are maybe struggling with the dark side. I think that would have been pretty cool. But anyways, just a little thing. All in all, I uh, I will definitely want to be watching it again. Saw the finale just recently again for the second time. Saw it twice, and uh, it's good. It's fun. And like I said to me, like when we rewatch the Star Wars movies, I'm gonna want to put the Obi Wan Kenobi series right in there with them because because it was a good time. It was great. So anyways, thanks for this out, everybody. Hope you enjoyed it. Stay safe out there. Have a good one.